Let's evaluate the integral of square root of x times the natural log of the cube root of x. First we're going to express this in terms of exponential notation. This is the integral of x to the one-half times natural log of x to the one-third. And then recall that the natural log of x to the a is equal to a times the natural log of x. The exponent can be brought down. Therefore, we can express this integral as one-third times the integral of x to the one-half times natural log of x. A little bit easier. And in fact, we're just going to evaluate this integral without the one-third. Once we're finished, we'll multiply the answer by one-third to get the final answer. Let's recall the technique of integration called integration by parts. When we have a product of two functions, u times v, and we want to take the derivative, we use the product rule of differentiation. It's first times the derivative of the second, so I'll express the derivative of v by dv plus second v times the derivative of the first, which is du. Integrating both sides, the integral of the derivative of u times v equals the integral of u dv plus the integral of v du. By fundamental theorem of calculus, the integral on the left is just u times v, and that's equal to the integral of u dv plus the integral of v du. And then solving for the integral of u dv, we have the integration by parts formula. It's u times v minus the integral of v du. So the idea is to take the hard integral, call it the integral of u dv, pick a u and a dv from there, find du and v, express the integral on the left as the integral on the right, subtract it from u times v, and hoping that the integral on the right, the integral of v du, is easier. That's the idea. So let's begin with x to the one-half ln of x. We're going to call this uh, our u dv. Now we have to decide which part is u and which part is dv. When you do a lot of these problems, this becomes easier. But one rule of thumb is it doesn't work all the time, but most of the time. When you have an integral that has a natural log, you let that be your u. So u equals ln of x. Try that at least first. dv is the rest of it, x to the 1 half times dx. So du is 1 over x dx. And v could be any antiderivative of x to the 1 half. 99.99% of the time, the constant of integration should be 0. And that's what it is here. So this is 2 thirds x to the 3 halves. Let's return to our integral, x to the 1 half ln of x. So this is the integral of u dv. By the formula, this is u times v. So let's write it like this, 2 thirds x to the 3 halves times ln of x. This is actually v times u, but that's the same as uv, minus the integral of v du. So let's multiply. We have the 2 thirds out in front, and then x to the 3 halves divided by x is x to the 1 half dx. And take a look at the integral on the right, the one I'm circling, compare it to the integral on the left. Of course, this integral, this is the integral of v du, is much easier than the integral on the left. And that's why integration by parts is such a great technique. It makes many, many problems solvable where they, otherwise they wouldn't be. Uh, so the answer is, this is equal to 2 thirds x to the 3 halves ln of x minus the integral of x to the 1 half is 2 thirds x to the 3 halves and then we have the 2 thirds in front so that would be 2 thirds times 2 thirds that's 4 over 9 x to the 3 halves and that's the integral now let's return to the original problem the original problem was integrate square root of x ln of the cube root of x we express that as x to the one-half times ln of x to the one-third. We brought the one-third down in front and wanted to evaluate x to the one-half ln of x. We just did that. So this is one-third times two-thirds x to the three-halves ln of x minus four over nine 
x to the 3 halves and then we can add after all that we can add a c at the end you don't have to multiply c by one third because it's a constant we could just rename it something else so c is added at the end and so the final answer would be two thirds times one third two over nine x to the three halves ln of x and then one third times four over nine is four over twenty seven x to the three halves plus c now we can factor out x to the three halves it's up to it's up to you you could factor it and leave answer like that you don't have